Anthony. You know, in this, well, I've been talking, I've been talking a lot lately about uh, um, crime and, and I guess they say racism or race differences or whatever. Mm -hmm. But this is something that's been going on for a while in the States, for at least um, uh, 15, whatever years. They started this project someplace where they, uh, because of modern techniques in criminology and, you know, and testing and whatever have you, uh, they revisit cases that were people that said they were, that were uh, Judge guilty, you know, and review the case and see what's going on. Well, there's this the guy right now. They just let this guy out of jail. He was in jail for 39 years on testimony from a 12 year old, you know, mm. about something. And as it turns out, because they reviewed the case and just this, 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 this a college project, university project, they, they reviewed this case and they went and back down. Then finally, this person who was you know, 39 years ago, he's 12, so whatever he is now, he, he, he I guess, guilty conscience. He says, Look, uh, the cops forced me, forced this to, to, to say what I said. So this person was in jail for 39 years. So he finally got released from jail. Now mm -hmm. it's interesting because this brother gets out of jail. And he's, you know, he looks fairly young, whatever have you, you know. Whatever. But you know what he says? They asked him a bunch of questions, but one of the most poignant thing he said was, just because you're in prison, you don't have to be a prisoner. You gotta be a man. Mm -hmm. Now I just changed that a little bit. I, I would say, uh, just because you are in prison, you don't have to be a prisoner. You got to be a human. Mm -hmm. See, because when you think about it, what was done to him was inhuman. I mean, you know, the, 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 well, not, the, not, the, child, not the child's fault. I mean, the child got coerced into saying what he said. But these people that coerced the child, mm -hmm. they weren't being human. They weren't being men or human. Mm -hmm. This person that, that, that they set up and went to jail, he retained his humanness. He didn't accept that he was a prisoner. He accepted that he was a man. Mm -hmm. You see? And I think that's the most poignant thing that I would get out of something like that. But see, here's the thing. We have to look at this. Because we all think that we are, uh, I don't know, whatever we think we are. But like Malcolm said at one particular point, we're all in prison. You don't think you're in prison, but you're in prison. We're in prison by a system that goes against us, goes against our humanness. Our, okay, our manness, our humanness. It goes against that. And it's and you, well, why, why, why would some men act inhumane and deny this whole humanity? Well, I don't, you know, it doesn't make any sense. And there has to be some inaccuracies in these people that want to frame people, put people in jail that don't believe they, they know we're not in jail. It's not about up in your police record or you know how many arrests you got. This is something else. It's also a pathology. And here's the thing, the, the, the victims, let's call it the, 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 the brothers and sisters that go to jail, it's not their problem. It's the problem of the people we keep on lying and putting them in jails. The people that know the system is rigged against or whatever it is. And they, and they feel like now and now we had a point where people actually think they can get away with this. Continually locking up black folks, continually killing black folks. They think they can do that. I'm thinking that humanity won't allow that. If all of humanity wakes up and says this is not allowed, it can't happen anymore. And if and that starts happening, the other things that start happening go bigger, 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 and finally, perhaps we'll have no more war. I don't know. Anyway, this is a this is one of those dispatches from the arts director of murders. That would be me, T, from the Patterson's taking the trains to bed, letting you know what I only suspect. Mm -hmm.